The harmonic series, which is an important series in mathematics, is the series that is one plus a half plus a third plus a fourth, etc., diverges to infinity. That means that the sum of all those numbers explodes to infinity, or in other words, the partial sums. If I stop the sum at any given point, I can make those partial sums be as large as I want. So uh, let's explain why that happens uh, and why the harmonic series diverges. First, remember that we say that an infinite series converges if the sequence of partial sums converges. This partial sums being the sums of the first term, the first two terms, the first three terms, etc. And if this sequence converges to a number, then we say that that number is the sum of the infinite series and that the series converges. If this sequence diverges, if this sequence uh, does not have a limit or the limit goes to infinity, then we say that the infinite series diverges. Now here is the harmonic series again, and the partial sums are one, one plus a half, one plus a half plus a third, etc. And let's see why this sequence diverges to infinity. The first partial sum is just 1. The second partial sum is 1 plus a half, which is 1.5. Now let's look at the fourth partial sum. The fourth partial sum is 1 through a fourth, but a third is bigger than a fourth, so I can do an inequality and substitute a third by a fourth, and now I have two fourths, and that is a half. Therefore, the fourth partial sum is bigger than 1 plus a half plus a half, so it's bigger than 2. For the eighth partial sum, I can do a similar trick. I have a half from before, I have a third and a fourth that is bigger or equal to a half, and now for a fifth through an eighth, uh, there is a fifth, six, seven, and eight. Each one of those is bigger or equal to an eighth, and therefore I can substitute each one of those in an inequality by eighths, and I have four eighths, which is a half. Therefore, the eighth partial sum is bigger or equal to 1 plus a half plus a half plus a half, and that is 2.5. For the sixteenth partial sum, the first uh, terms that are equal to the eighth partial sum, I can do the same trick I just did. And then for the fractions that are from um, 1 over 9 up to 1 over 16, I can substitute each one of those by 1 over 16 because they're all bigger or equal to 1 over 16, and that gives me 8 times 1 over 16, which is another half. Therefore, the 16th partial sum is bigger than 3. And that pattern continues. If you look at the 2 to the nth partial sum, uh, that ends in 1 over 2 to the n. And in the last row here, we have fractions from 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1 all the way to 1 over 2 to the n. Each one of those fractions can be substituted by 1 over 2 to the n in an inequality. And now what I have is 2 to the n minus 1 fractions that are bigger or equal to 1 over 2 to the n. And therefore, that last piece is bigger or equal to 2 to the n minus 1 times 1 over 2 to the n, which is a half. And therefore... What I get is that the 2 to the nth partial sum is bigger or equal to 1 plus n times 1 half, which is n plus 2 divided by 2. Then what can we say about the limit of the partial sums? Well, the partial sums here, because the harmonic series is a sum of positive numbers, is an increasing sequence, and there are terms in that increasing sequence that are larger than any given number, because n plus 2 divided by 2 goes to infinity as n goes to infinity. Therefore, the limit of the partial sums is infinite, and since the partial sums diverges, that means that the harmonic series diverges.